Hello, my name's Dr Gill. Uh, we've been asked to do a breast examination today. Can I just confirm that's correct for yourself? Yes, that's right. Super. So before we start, could please confirm your name and date of birth? It's Anita Kumar, 8972. Super, thank you. So what we're going to do today, um, I will um, we'll get a chaperone in a moment. Um, we'll ask you to take off your top and we'll have a look at your breast to see if we can see any uh, visual problems. Then we'll get you to lie down on the bed and we'll press around the breast to see if we can um, you know, find on examination any abnormalities. Then we'll have you sat up and we're going to check in your armpits see if there's any lumps and bumps. Is that okay? Yes. Super. So I'm just going to go and get the chaperone. The chaperone is both for your protection and mine. Um, whilst I'm doing that, if you'd be kind enough to take off your shirt and then uh, we'll have a look in a moment when we get back. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we've got the chaperone, our nurse is standing over there in the corner. Morning. And if I can get you to put your hands on your hips for me, please, and bear down. Sit, so I'm just having it from the side. So the patient sat up when we get them to um, uh, press down against the uh, pelvis. We want to see whether or not any dimples appear. Okay, I can't see any obvious issues. And then if I can get you to put your hands up over your head like so for me. Okay. And again, seeing if I can see any changes based upon that. And then when they raise their arms up above the head, similarly, does that change in um, position uh, give rise to the visibility of any other dimples? We also want to have an overview of the chest wall. Can we see any scars, abnormalities, any evidence of nipple changes, perhaps retractions or a blood stained um, discharge? No, that's fine. So if I get you to lie back, and you said that it's the right hand that's affected, so if we could put the left one up like so for me, please. Okay, so I'm going to put my hands on your chest now, if that's okay. Yes. So laying down again, we're having a look around. Again, lying down, we're having a look over the breast. So we've got the nipple discharge. We've got a uh, retracted nipple here. We can see a, a rash. Uh, an erythema to the side of the breast. We can also check to see if we can see any obvious lumps and bumps in uh, the axilla and whether or not there's any uh, visible dimples. Similarly over here we've got um, again changes to the skin in keeping with peau d'orange and again uh, another dimple over here. So in terms of the examination I like to start off at the top. Remember we have the tail spent and we're coming down in a line, checking over the outer side of the breast, and then back. And we're going to do the same again, just using the flat of the hand all the way down. And when we come across a lump, such as we have there, we're going to come back to check that later. And again, we're pressing all the way down from the clavicle, all the way directly over the nipple, and seeing if we can cause any expression, and carrying on across, making sure we're covering all four quadrants of the breast. Once we've found a lump, we want to go back to try and characterise it. So what is the shape, the size, the surface texture? What's the structure? Is it um, fluctuant? Is it hard? Can we find any evidence of transillumination? Super. If we could swap arms for me. And I'm again, I'm going to press, uh, press around it on your chest. Is that OK? Yes. Then we want to go over to the other side and we're going to repeat the same again. So with the patient's arm uh, raised up, we're going to start off on the outside, making sure we're covering the tail of Spence and all the way down the edge of the outer quadrant. We're going to carry along all the way across all areas of the breast and again pressing directly over the nipple to see if that caused any pain or discharge. Coming right the way across to uh, the chest wall. If we do have a patient with a very large breast, we can use two hands to push the breast tissue between the hands during the examination. Okay, you can relax for me. So we haven't found any abnormalities. If you could sit up for me, please. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a pair of gloves. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to press around in your armpit. So that's okay. So again, we're going to start on your left side with the right being the abnormal. So in terms of doing this, I'm going to pick up your arm and if you can try and relax your muscles so I can take the full weight, please. Okay, so I'm just going to take your arm, and if you go loose and floppy, just relax for me. Brilliant. So I'm just going to check up on the front. And coming 
up along the inside. My apologies, that can sometimes be a little bit uncomfortable. And then checking around the back. And then down completely against the chest wall. Okay, so there's nothing there, that's good, relax all. I'm going to do the same again on this side. So again, if you let me take the weight, I'm going to relax fully onto my arm. Okay, and I'm just going to press up on the inside. And coming around to the back. Okay, and then coming up along the top of the humerus. And then coming back down against the chest wall there. Super relaxed for me, thank you. We may also need to examine for lymph nodes along the clavicle, and we're going to be examining from behind, along and above the clavicle, and then also thinking about the uh, cervical lymph nodes as well. So I can confirm from that I haven't found any abnormalities. Uh, do you have any questions for myself? No, I don't. Super. So I'll let you put your things back on and uh, we'll see you shortly. Thank you.